Welcome back to the channel, guys. Uh, another good day going. Um, we are taking a little bit of a breather, it seems, um, on the price of Bitcoin. We did have some things come out uh, today, some inflation readings. Jer Jerome Powell is actually giving a speech today, so I think there's a little bit of, uh, you know, people just uh, kind of taking a pause for a second to see, you know, usually... We, we kind of see some kind of anticipation in the markets for anything Jerome Powell. Uh, so he does have a speech today coming up. Guys, but I want to jump over to the charts really quick. Um, just kind of show you what's going on today. So uh, this morning, we, we were actually starting out the day. We were above, we were almost 92,000. And then the last few hours, we've just, you know, kind of taken a, a header clear down here. We actually hit 87.5 uh, last hour. And we've kind of bounced up above that. Um, but we did have, you know, we were kind of showing some strength right along this green 50-day uh, moving average. And in the last few hours, we did actually break below that. So. Um, not great. You know, when I was watching the charts, um, you know, we hit that 87 ish, uh, level and, uh, you know, even me, you know, I've been in this since 2012 and I've seen these things. This is a small, small thing, uh, for Bitcoin, but even me this morning, I was like, Oh, you know, <laughs> you know, just, you know, fill in, Feeling that, hoping to see, you know, something above that 93,000 that we saw uh, yesterday and we're dipping and it's, you know, y your emotions, right? I talk a lot about emotions, guys, and, you know, your emotions get to you even on these small things. Really, this is just some sideways action for the last few days. Um, the, the interesting thing, guys, will be to see, you know, we've set a new all-time high every single day except for Saturday since the election night. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if if we do kind of like we did a few days ago where it was, you know, a cooling off day, but we did have a quick bounce and we did hit set a new all-time high day, that day. Uh, be interesting to see if we actually get some momentum, momentum and uh, set that new all-time high today. Uh, if we don't, it's not the end of the world. Losing this 50-day 50, 50 uh, moving average of support isn't a big deal either. Guys, these things are just bound to happen. And actually, if you really think about it, you know, a few days ago, I was like, I got to stop watching the, the charts. You know, I was just feeling like too euphoric, right? And I, I knew this was going to happen and it's it's perfectly healthy. For, for you know us to make a huge move and then to kind of consolidate it it's you know you go up too fast too soon and i don't think we've done that this last move is not a too fast too soon thing i'm talking over several months we just go up too fast too soon and that's usually what happens and when we set our our um cycle high right but you know, going up too soon, too fast, too fast, too soon is uh, actually not the best thing. It's it's fun to be part of it, but it's it it's unsustainable. And um, so taking a breather like we are these the, like today, uh, actually really, really healthy thing, guys. So um, don't freak out. Also, another thing to think about. If I jump over here, let's just go to the daily, um, zoom out, you know, if, if I would have told if future, if my, me today went back two weeks and told my, my past self, where's two weeks, um, what are we at the 14th? So if I would have gone back two weeks and we were sitting around 69 to 72 let's call it 70,000 if i would have told myself on this day that i would be bummed in 2 weeks that we were sitting at 87 my old self would have probably laughed so you know zoom out 
don't don't freak out about you know these little things honestly this today is uh such a small thing we're only down really 1.47 uh but you know if you're like me um you know your em emotions do if especially if you're watching the charts quite a bit like i do your emotions get get a little carried away sometimes um so just know that you know what we're doing right now is completely healthy even if we were pull to pull back you know quite a bit further this would be this would be a healthy thing even if we came clear back down and tested this this line that we we um, saw as support several days ago and was resistance uh, cl going clear back to August, guys. If we fell down and tested that again, that would be completely healthy. So, um, you know, not much going on there. Honestly, we're we're just doing what we're supposed to be doing right now. So. Um, so anyways, guys, I do want to get in. We had a comment on the, uh, on the video yesterday. I do want to get into, and then I'm going to get into a few things in the news, um, and just some, some other things, uh, with Bitcoin recently. But, uh, before I do get into that, guys, I want to jump over and, uh, this is the animal sanctuary that, that I'm obviously spotlighting this this month. If you guys can, by any means, please go over and help these guys out. If you've got a few dollars to, to spend or to donate, uh, you can go over here. Um, I do leave the links in my descriptions of all my videos. Uh, just go over, help Rory Pond uh, Rescue Ranch out. You can send them something that they need off of their Amazon. You can buy some merch. Uh, or you can just donate via PayPal or Venmo here. Um, really helps these guys out, guys. Uh, every sanctuary that I kind of show you guys, uh, choose and, and spotlight for you guys every month are really, really small animal sanctuaries that any little amount really helps them out. So, And it also helps you guys out with taxes, guys. Like I was saying in the last video, um, this is how you kind of can mitigate your tax responsibility um, with your capital gains. So uh, always a good thing to do. Very much appreciated if you guys go over there and help these guys out. Okay, so I do want to get into um, the comment that was left yesterday on the video. Um, it was from Jimmy Timber 7074, and he said... Um, what do, what do you think a good goal for a new Bitcoin stacker should be? Ah, uh, good question. Hard to answer, actually. Um, you know, if you go back to, this is, this is kind of something I was talking with a friend about. You go back to 2012 when I got into Bitcoin and you say, if you were to say to somebody, I'm a whole coiner in 2012, uh, people would be like, cool, man, take me out to lunch. <laughs> like that's, that was like, what, 50 bucks, maybe, um, you know, a whole coiner, it, it wasn't even a, a concept until this last bull market, um, after this last bull market, you know, um, once, once we hit, you know, 60, 69, people started, you know, really aspiring to be a whole coiner. And then we dipped uh, down to 15,000 and a lot of people got that chance to, to gain a whole coin the last three years, you know, dollar cost averaging in. Um, but back, it was last year, 2023, um, towards the end, I believe, or maybe it was early this, this year, my friend and I were talking about this concept and, and I was saying, you know, pretty soon being a whole coiner is going to be priced out. You know, a lot of people will not even be able to come anywhere close. And now we're sitting at $90,000 and I, you know, people can't, can't buy a whole coin anymore. Um, but I was I was telling my friend, you know, it won't be a whole coiner that'll be 
aspired to anymore. We'll be talking about Satoshis soon, and it'll be there's a hundred million dollar or hundred million Satoshis in a single Bitcoin. And I was saying, you know, it'll be a satillionaire. People want to be a satillionaire, a million Satoshis. Um, so it it's constantly evolving, guys. And how much would be a good goal for a new Bitcoin stacker? Maybe, you know, it, it really depends individually as well, right? Like if you're a 20 year old kid um, and you want to retire by by retirement age, you've got a long time uh, to, you know, so maybe for a 20 year old kid that just wants to retire normally, a couple hundred bucks in Bitcoin right now would maybe, maybe be enough, you know, um, you know, you've got a long time. Uh, if you are my age, 40, and you want to retire by 60 or 65, you're probably going to need a bit more. Uh, so it kind of de depends on your situation a bit too. But honestly, guys, you know, have set some goals for yourself. Uh, set your goals, goals to be a satillionaire. Right now, a satillionaire uh, is like $9,000. And I think even that is is priced out for people, you know, for a lot of people. Um, but it's a good, it's a good goal. Um, if you keep dollar cost averaging in over the next four years, you, you can probably pretty easily become a satillionaire, even though, uh, Bitcoin is probably going, going on a massive rally. You know, I think over the next four years, dollar cost average in, get that satillionaire status, right? Um, so pretty, uh, relative, honestly, you know, relative to your situation, relative to where Bitcoin goes. Uh, but it is a good question. And, um, first of all, thank you for the comment. Thank you for the question. Um, and, and yeah, start stacking, um, get off zero. You know, that's, that's a big narrative. A lot of people look at Bitcoin at $90,000. Uh, a lot of people looked at Bitcoin when it was $20,000 and said, it's too expensive for me. And, you know, I, I don't know if they think they have to buy an entire 20000 90000 worth. Um, you don't. You just have to buy a few hundred bucks or so. Just get off zero. Um, and we, we kind of did that with uh, my girlfriend's parents. We... we we just got them, you know, they don't have a lot of money. They can invest a lot, um, but we got them off zero. They got a hundred, couple hundred dollars or whatever. And, um, you know, it's not going to make them rich in the next year, but they're off zero and, you know, it might actually do something really positive for them over the next five, 10 years. Um, you know, if you go, Go back to some of the price predictions from like Kathy Wood and ARK. Um, they're predicting like million dollar Bitcoins by 2030. Um, if you look at Michael Saylor, I think he was saying $13 million or something per Bitcoin by 2040 or 20. I don't know what the timeline was there exactly. But guys, the point is, is just you've got to get in. Uh, you've got to start stacking, you know, it, it is an emotional roller coaster. So you've got to have a plan or just put it away as savings and not look at it. Um, because if you get caught up in your emotions, you don't have a plan. You're going to lose money, uh, trading on your emotions. So I always stress that, but thank you, Jimmy Timber 7074. Thanks for the, the question. Um, Okay, so I do um, want to jump over here. We did have an inflation uh, reading coming out today. It was PPI inflation. Uh, October PPI rises 2% or 0.2% uh, supporting Fed rate cut hopes as inflation and jobs steady. Um, so basically what this is saying is that inflation is kind of holding steady. Uh, this came in right exactly at expectations. 
just like yesterday's CPI expectations and readings came in. Um, so things seem to be going as expected. Um, this is saying, you know, October's uh, 0.2 rise is aligning with the Fed's inflation goals, pointing towards a possible December rate cut. Um, so if we jump over to the CME Fed Watch tool, guys, this is really a, a helpful tool to kind of gauge what's going to happen at the FOMC meeting. Um, we, we have the next FOMC meeting is here on December 18th. Um, so about a month from now. Uh, but right now we are seeing a 70, almost 80%, um, chance that we will get another 25 basis points cut next month. Um, so yeah, things are looking good. Looking like the money printers are going to stay on for a while. Um, let's see, uh, as far as ETFs yesterday, we did see a pretty good day, about a half a billion dollars, um, inflows yesterday with IBIT you know, BlackRock and Fidelity coming in with the majority here uh, between the two of them, about uh, over $400 million inflow in those two um, ETFs, guys. So things are going good there. Um, it's just, you know, one of those days that we're, we seem to kind of be cooling off. I don't know exactly what the, let's go over here. Um, and just look at kind of the, the market, the S and P 500 is down today. So it might just be kind of a cooling off period for, for markets, honestly. Um, MSTR micro strategy is actually up slightly on the day. This is again, guys, um, this is actually the hourly, but they are up slightly uh from that that daily point um you know gold's down uh yeah um let's look bitcoin dominance guys here's something i kind of wanted to talk about is bitcoin dominance and bitcoin dominance is actually down for the day um, but let's actually jump out to the daily because this is uh, Bitcoin dominance is kind of the metric you'll look for uh, to to determine whether we're entering into alt season, whether it's a good time to buy alts or just to be in Bitcoin. Um, but let's jump out to the daily and you can just see, you know, since about 2022 we have just the bitcoin dominance has just gone up and up there's a few there's only been a few altcoins that have really you know held held their weight towards uh, you know with bitcoin one being solana solana has actually really done very well with uh, you know along with bitcoin um but you know you can see we kind of bottomed out here in 2022 and Bitcoin dominance has just been going up and up and up. So we're yet to kind of see this break down. But once we do start seeing, um, you know, this maybe breaking down below some of these moving averages, uh, that's kind of when we can expect a alt season um, to be starting, which I honestly, it, it's we're coming upon that time. Um, but it's it's not happening yet, guys. The last you know the last week or so, we did have that dip. This was right, actually right after the election. We saw a dip in Bitcoin dominance. But the last four or five days, guys, it's been it's been tearing right back up in line with with what it was projected. So uh, keep keep an eye on that if you're interested in alts. Um. But yeah, Solana's down slightly today. Uh, not doing too bad. It's actually doing a bit better than 
than Bitcoin. Ethereum is doing a bit better than uh, uh, than Bitcoin. Um, but Bitcoin, you know, this this isn't a bad day for um, for Bitcoin, guys. This is healthy. So we're looking at eighty eight thousand nine. Um, almost 89,000 now. So we're, we're off that 79 or 87 mark. Uh, but again, guys, what I'll be kind of watching for and hoping for is that we, we do at least kind of have, have a surge at some time today. Um, and maybe set a new all time high. That'd be awesome. Even if we, you know, just go up there, touch it and come back down and, and settle right around this 89,000 or so. Um, oh, one thing, this, this is really interesting, guys. This happened yesterday, last night, as I was looking at it. This is the daily chart and I keep moving that Fibonacci. Um, so I'm going to zoom in on these moving averages down here. And I need to kind of even blow this up even more because we are just having another golden cross on these these moving averages guys it, during a, a a really good upswing move what you want to see guys is you want green on top you want orange in the middle and you want yellow on the bottom so you'd have the 50 day moving average the 100 day is the orange and then you'd have the 200 day on the bottom once those things are lined up, that's an indicator that we are moving to the upside. The momentum is moving to the upside. So uh, we just did put in that golden cross. Usually that's an indicator that things are going to start going up. Um, even though we've made up moves in the past, things are looking good with that cross. Uh, I want to zoom clear out and show you guys the last time we made that cross was clear back here in 2023, um, November of 2023. So almost a, a year exactly, we started, we got that golden cross with the uh, 100 day moving above the 200 day. And guys, we did that right here. And look what we did. Boom. We went from. 36 to 73 in the in a matter of a few months um so that's a what a hundred percent move in a few months so that is extremely bullish we're just putting that in right now um and we did i i brought this to you guys a few maybe a few months ago but um on the weekly chart we had that golden cross come in uh, just right back here in early September or late, late um, August. We had that cross above. And so all of these moving averages on the weekly and the daily now are lining up for big moves to the upside. So still a lot of good things uh, in, in the future, guys. Just hang in there. You know, have a plan as always. Um, yeah, that is really about it, guys. So uh, again, thank you guys so much for for taking your time to watch these videos. If you guys have another uh, comment or question that you guys want me to to kind of go through on on the next video, let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.